So we are going to start off by placing our base colors. I am using this uh, shimmery lilac color on two of the th fingers, so little finger and pointer finger, and the rest of uh, the fingers, <laughs> or nails, sorry, are going to be white. So my white is really sheer, so I ended up putting three layers of the white and just two of the, of the pearly one. Of course, remember to <clears throat> fully cure all of your all of your layers, just so you know we avoid uh, them bubbling up or peeling off. And uh, also, very important when when using gel polishes, go in really really thin, because if you do um, what's it called? If you do go in too too big, uh, too thick. It will like peel off, become like wrinkly and not a good look. Don't do that as thin as possible. So on this nail it's kind of hard to see because I'm going in with white on white but I'm just going to be doing some um, curvy lines right over the nail or straight over the nail. Is this horizontal or vertical? Uh, horizontal? Sounds, sounds right. Let me know if I'm wrong. So, <coughs> sorry about that. I originally was going in with another type of design, and then I just changed my mind in the middle of it. Because it is my mom, I can basically do whatever I want to her nails. She just do whatever you want. Then I'll say, okay, I will. <laughs> so when I do my mom's nails, you're probably going to notice when it is my mom, even if I don't say it, because you will see the lack of bling or gems I put on her nails because as I said in the prep and info video for this design like my last video she does a lot with her hands so she can't have a lot of stones on them on this finger I am going to be doing some flowers or just the outline of the flowers not really fill them in or do anything special to them more this is more of a simple design so every few strokes, like you can see when the hand pops out of the picture, we're just giving it that a quick cure, like 5-10 minutes under the lamp, just so the gel doesn't move. Because if, if you do leave it too long, it will start to move and uh, we don't want that. That's why we're using a detail brush, because we are going in with detail and detail should not move. When I do these types of designs, you know, going in with a detailer brush and like getting some touches, you know, I usually go in with two layers. I do one layer, like flash cure in between every couple of strokes, and then I go in with a second layer just to make them pop out more, like more of a 3D effect. So um, I'm sorry this video took so long. I it's been uploaded for about seven days. Seven, eight days uh, I just accidentally put it on private and I w thought it was like up for public but it wasn't so I noticed that today and I switched it so sorry yeah <laughs> so if you missed my last video it is my prep and infill video for these nails like I said like a couple moments ago but I didn't want to do a uh, too long of a video because I personally don't like long videos if I see they're like 15, 20, 25 minutes long I was like nope not watching that except if it's Shane Dawson I think I said that on the last video I love him uh, I could watch him all day so here I'm just going in with a little dot of that same uh, pearly lilac -like color just in the center of the flowers to make them pop a little bit more so here I'm taking off the tacky layer of, um, of, the, of the gel obviously I'm going in with some mermaid powder or unicorn powder or iridescent powder I, I don't know what it's called but you know which one it is it just gives it a slight sheen of another color 
So I'm going in with this on the like curvy stripey design and the flower design. I find it to work better when you don't actually put it on top coat, just wiping off the tacky layer on your color. Uh, for me it works a lot better, maybe it's the type of powder I have, but yeah, if you're struggling with it, maybe try this way. Here I'm just putting in the final touches, well the top coat obviously. Never forget to cap your last layer of color. Well, always cap the nail, like go around the free edge with your base, your last uh, co color layer and your top coat. If you don't do that, the nail will start to peel and because it's gel, it may actually cause harm to your nail, like damage your real nail because it's like peeling on your real nail and this sticks really hard to it. So this is kind of a pearly gem I have, it's like a pearl in the middle, but not, not real pearl, but yeah. And just going in with some uh, golden microbeads. Uh, yeah. I really didn't need to talk this much on this video, it's quite self-explanatory. Well. You may know by now that um, when putting on your gem, when I put on my gems, I always go on the top coat before I cure it, and I flash cure it, go around the gems and over the micro beads. I always go over the micro beads, just because they tend to like chip up a little bit of color, and we want them to be fun color, not like chip, or and we don't want to lose them, obviously, because you see smoke. Little thingies missing, and it's annoying. Yes. When I work with micro beads, I don't go in with wax pens or anything. I usually just take my detailer brush, wet it slightly, like in water or whatever you have to hands. Don't do it with the. Uh, don't wet your brush on top coat because it will stick to the brush and not to your nail. <laughs> so just slightly damp a brush and water, or like I said. Whatever liquidy thingy you have and have to hand. Here we are just flash curing it. And now, as you see, I put a double or uh, like spilled out some top coat. And I am going on top of the microbeads and around the big, uh, big stone in the middle or pearl. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, well. So this is my favorite type of design to do like on clients or on family because... It is really, it's it's quicker than, you know, doing very elaborated things. And in my opinion, it's, um, it's like, <clears throat> my voice is really cracky today. And it just goes better with different things, you know. Here we are wiping off the, um, the final, what am I saying? We're top. We're wiping off the tacky layer on the nails. There we go. The top coat I used on the nails do leave a tacky, tacky coat. I like this one more because it doesn't go yellow under the sun like some of them do. So very important after manipulating the nails and the cuticles so much. Please, please, please never forget to put cuticle oil so we get that nurture back in. Yeah, my cat just came to say hello. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this design and uh, that you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up, comment down below and see you on the next one. Bye!